Today, we are going to review the procedure to calibrate an ADB CSF ferroresonant constant current regulator. Equipment required includes a true RMS meter with current clamp, a short length of 8 gauge cable to short the regulator output. Alternately, the CCR can be shorted using the series cutout. Refer to manual 96A0451. There are several different control boards used with ferroresonant CCRs. Calibration of those boards can be found in another video. The CSF series of regulators uses only the 44A7293 control board. This board is uniquely colored blue. Before we begin the calibration, first a safety warning. Read the instructions in the manual in their entirety before starting calibration. Only personnel qualified to work on high voltage systems should attempt to make any adjustments on the constant current regulator. To shut down the CCR, set the rotary switch to the off position. Note that power to the output terminals is now off and the regulator cannot be energized by remote control signals. Power is still present on the input power terminals and on the internal control circuitry. To remove input power, disengage the disconnect switch or external circuit breaker. Calibrate the CCR with no load present by shorting the regulator's output. This can be done using an SCO or S1 cutout to short the output or by placing a short length of series circuit cable across the output. This will avoid the possibility of outputting a higher than normal current into the air-filled lighting circuit. Next, attach a true RMS meter with current clamp around the series circuit wire. Since the output current of the CCR will not be a true sine wave, a true RMS meter must be used. Refer to the tables on screen for the nominal RMS output current levels for a three-step 6.6 amp regulator and a five-step 6.6 amp regulator. This screen shows the nominal RMS output current levels for a five-step 20 amp regulator. 20 amp regulators are manufactured only as five-step. Controller board 44A7293 is used for control of ADB CSF regulators. This board has three buttons that are used for calibration. They are marked increase, decrease, and save. For three-step operation, verify there is a jumper at J5 between pins 5 and 6. No jumper is required for five-step operation. Turn on the CCR and set the local control switch to the highest intensity step, which is B5 for a five-step CCR or B100 for a three-step. The true RMS ammeter should read 6.6 .6 plus or minus 0.1 amps. If the reading is outside this range, adjust the output current with buttons increase or decrease on the control board until the correct current is obtained. Then press and hold the save button for two seconds to save the setting. LED D10, the amber LED, will turn on indicating that the new setting is now saved. Note that each CCR output current step is independently adjustable and must be independently saved. Set the local control switch to the next lowest brightness step and verify that the true RMS ammeter reading corresponds to the appropriate current value for each step. If the reading is not in the correct current range, continue to press the increase or decrease buttons and then hit the save to save the new value. Repeat this step for the remaining lower brightness steps. When the output current adjustment has been completed, turn off the CCR. Set the series cutout to the normal operating position or remove the shorting cable on the CCR output if used. 
reconnect the air field circuit and verify that the calibration is correct for all steps. So for this three-step regulator, we want to turn the regulator to B10 and read 4.8 amps, B30 for 5.5, and B100, 6.6 amps. Note that for a 20 amp regulator, the procedure is the same, except that the highest step will be adjusted for 20 amps, and the remaining four steps are adjusted as demonstrated in this video. Normally, no adjustment is required for overcurrent protection with the 44A7293 controller board. If it is desired to adjust the overcurrent, perform the following procedure. Turn the constant current regulator off, Short the output of the CCR so the field load cannot be damaged by an overcurrent situation during the adjustment. Next, turn the local control switch to the highest brightness step. The true RMS ammeter should read 6.6 amps or 20 amps for a 20 amp CCR. Press and hold both the increase and decrease buttons at the same time for three seconds. Then the save LED will come on, indicating that we are in the overcurrent adjustment mode. Note that the CCR output current will increase to the level previously set as the overcurrent level. This will be above 6.6 .6 amps. Next, press the increase or decrease buttons until you reach the new desired overcurrent protection level. Then press and hold the save button for two seconds. The save LED will go out, and the CCR output will go back to the top step setting of 6.6 .6 amps. Finally, remove the short from the CCR output and reconnect the field load. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your CCR, which is available on the ADB website at www.adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB Customer Service directly using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.